Hello, everyone, and welcome to Signal 2021, Always Learning, Always Leading. This marks our 10th anniversary edition of Signal, and we intend to make it the most useful ever for you, with nearly 50 thought-leading speakers broadcast to more than 60 countries around the world. Now, if there's anything we've learned in the extraordinary past 12 to 18 months, it's that we're operating in a world that is always disrupting. In fact, describing the last year and a half as extraordinary feels kind of like an understatement, as it seems like the pace of change has accelerated by five years. Disruption is everywhere, and there's no evidence that it's going to slow down anytime soon. Consumer behavior shifting, how and where we work, how and where we consume media, entertainment, music, sports, and information, even how and where we play, including travel. And consumer expectations of brands and companies are rising and broadening, demanding better, faster, more valuable innovations across all categories, including, of course, our own cleaning, hygiene, and health products. But they're also expecting innovations to improve environmental sustainability and address long-standing social and economic problems such as inequality. Media is undergoing exponential transformation. Traditional linear television just keeps declining, while over-the-top streaming services are exponentially growing and proliferating, creating new opportunities and problems for viewers and advertisers. Digital media is now the dominant form of media worldwide, but trust keeps eroding. Platforms are now subject to increasing scrutiny by regulatory and governmental bodies and big changes in data privacy are underway to give consumers the privacy they want while still having access to the content that they need. Commerce is transforming. E-commerce growth continues to expand. It's now more than 50% of the market in countries like China and approaching 20% in places like the US. Omni-retailing is becoming a norm with entirely new ways of shopping, including online ordering, direct shipping to homes, and curbside pickup at the store. And the worlds of media and commerce are colliding, with automated programmatic media connected to retailers, social commerce, and even direct purchase through streaming services. All of this leads to massive leaps in innovation throughout the entire value chain. Companies are rethinking innovation to further accelerate speed to market and increase value. They're creating unexpected and novel partnerships. And entirely new business models are popping up everywhere, to the point that DTC is starting to look a little bit old school, and get ready for the level of innovation that's about to hit the world to address environmental sustainability. Sustainability is quickly becoming a key driver of irresistible superiority, and the race is on to improve the lives of consumers while protecting, restoring, and even regenerating the planet. Disruption is everywhere, and it's always on. So how do we deal with always on disruption? We always lead, and in our case, we're focused on always leading constructive disruption. Constructive is a carefully chosen word because it's about creating more value, innovating to better serve consumers and customers and grow markets. There are some things that are constant, our purpose, values, and principles, our strategies of irresistibly superior products and brands fueled by productivity, and of course, the tremendous power of P&G people and our partners. But what changes is always finding ways to deal with and lead disruption in a way that always serves consumers better and creates growth and value. And always leading is fueled by always learning, always staying in touch with what's happening with the people we serve and the world in which we operate. So we can win today while seeing around corners to what's coming next so we can invent tomorrow. That's what Signal 2021 is all about. And that's what you'll experience for the next two days. And remember, Signal is about action. Take time to learn, and then define what action you will take to lead, living up to the theme of always learning, always leading. And now, it gives me great pleasure to introduce John Battelle, our host extraordinaire of Signal for the past 10 years and founder and CEO of Recount Media. Great to see you, John. It is very good to see you, Mark and welcome everyone. It's a thrill to be here for the 10th anniversary of Signal. We've got a poll in the Hop, Out, Hop In app asking how long, uh, how many times you've gone to Signal, and a full 10% of you have come 10 years in a row, and a third of you for one to three years. So welcome back for many of you, and welcome to those of you who are experiencing this for the first time. We've built this incredible set 
Um, we have multiple locations and multiple sets, and people coming in to speak to us from all over the world. Um, this year's conference is focused on several pillars supporting our theme of always learning and always leading. They range from technology to consumer behavior, commerce, and the future of media. So before we jump into it, I'm proud to show you the first of seven videos produced in partnership with P&G from my company, The Recount. Each summarizes key issues and trends from what we've learned the past 12 months and what we might expect in the year to come. Here's a summary of all of them to kick off P&G Signal 2021, our biggest and our best yet. <laughs> For the 10th anniversary of the P&G Signal Conference, we're looking back and looking ahead at six places where we saw major change across the world. E-commerce exploded. We are in e-commerce 2030 right now. We're seeing a social revolution happening. Media further fragmented, creating a fierce war for our attention. We're in the midst of an extraordinary tech acceleration. We've seen massive breakthroughs in medicine. There's a universal vaccine on the horizon. With so much more to come, artificial intelligence helped make the COVID-19 vaccine possible. But as we break new ground in AI, we must know its risks as well as its potential. Algorithms like viruses can spread bias at a rapid pace. And businesses have been stepping up. Our commitment. Commitment. How committed everybody is. To empower people to positively contribute to society and the environment. But will businesses be able to keep it up? How about we stop making so many messes? How about we start investing better? Consumers gravitated towards brands that were authentic. We're not the same people we were when the pandemic started. But what does this mean for you and for us? Let's find out together at this year's P&G Signal Conference. We have a lot to look forward to over the next two days. And who better to start things off with than David Taylor, the CEO of P&G and one of Signal's biggest champions. Welcome, David. Thank you. I'm happy it, to be here again. It's so good to have you here. Um, and, I, I, you know, in studio as opposed to, I am usually see you right in the front row. Yes, yes. This <laughs> taking is a notes. experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, let's get started. Uh, it's our biggest and our best ever mm -hmm. Signal. Uh, we have more than 50 speakers, two full days of programming. Why do you think Signal has lasted 10 years, and what's, why, do, why do you make it such a priority on your packed schedule? It, it's one of the best learning events that I've experienced in my time at P&G. Every year, it's stacked with speakers from just all different walks of life. We've had CEOs from startups to big companies. Last year, we had Clover Hogan challenge us on environmental areas. If you go back a few years ago, you remember Roger McNamee oh, challenged yeah. the impact of social media. Uh, we've had just such a range of people that provoke and help us to learn. And, and part of the whole theme of Signal is to broaden everybody's horizon, bring the outside in. Right. So I think it's an outstanding chance for me and everybody at P&G, and more broadly, the ecosystem that supports us to right. learn. So that is the theme this year, always learning, always leading. Yes. What does that mean to you? It, it means a chance for us to broaden horizon. You know, I've always believed that if you can access a greater source of facts and experiences, you'll make better decisions. If we can start to see around corners because we learn from people that have a different set of experiences, that have technical mastery mm -hmm. in different areas, we'll be better informed. We can be better in touch with the consumers we serve. We touch over five billion consumers every year, and we get a chance and signal the next couple of days to hear from people that are communicating, interacting with consumers all over the world in very different ways. What an opportunity for everybody. Right. Absolutely. Now, there are a couple of speakers that are uh -huh. coming uh, to this over the next two days who are, in effect, your boss. Yes. Um, uh, your bosses, uh, Mark Allen and Deborah Lee. Um, we'll be hearing from them uh, uh, soon. What have you learned from them and what do you hope to learn from them today? Well, both are outstanding additions to our board. We have a very diverse and, to me, extremely effective board. Uh, Mark Allen comes to us from the Boeing company. Mm -hmm. uh, he's a, an executive there. But he brings so many things. He's worked and lived in China. He's had responsibility for businesses in, in Latin America and in Europe. He works on a long cycle business. Think about it, the right. development of a new airline. So long cycle innovation. Uh, he sits on the board with me on the U.S.-China Business Council, so many different areas. Uh, Debbie Lee was CEO of BET for over a decade, so deep mastery 
uh, in the area of media. She's also served on a wide variety of boards. I think she has over 50 years cumulatively of board experience, wow. dealing with all the different issues that companies like P&G deal with. So I get the benefit of their mastery and experiences on our board, which is great. Absolutely. Now we've organized, as I mentioned before, uh, into pillars, areas of focus yes. that are particularly important uh, you know, as we come out of an extraordinary year mm -hmm. and go into some unknown and uncharted territories and yes. so much has changed. Um, what pillar intrigues you the most uh, or do you find most interesting this year? Yeah, all of them are great, but, but two areas that are of particular interest to me now and every year is consumer insights. Mm -hmm. Our whole business is driven by understanding consumers. So anything we can learn that gets us closer to understanding right. what and how people react and and what's important to them, to have better empathy for consumers is powerful. The other area, because I'm going to cheat and mention two, mm -hmm. is citizenship because it's getting into both environmental and social sustainability, right. which we've seen the last couple of years has just exploded importance to all stakeholders. It's right. always been important to our company, but to me it is getting more and more important that all of our people understand and then deeply engage. We want to build citizenship in. We want to build in sustainable brands and products. We want to empower all our people. And if we can learn from other experts in the field, outstanding. Yeah, yeah. It's, it seems to that, that pillar, corporate citizenship, it's interesting over the course of the past 10 years how we really started this conference focusing on, wow, there's this big new world of yes, digital yes. out there that we need to understand. We need to get you know, excellent at it. And over the past five years, corporate citizenship has become a bigger and bigger yes. part of the program and, and a focus that I don't think is ever going to change. No. Um, uh, and and it's, it, we'll see some great work actually out of P&G over the next two days on that, uh, on that topic. So you frequently uh, talk to the P&G organization, I've heard you, uh, about sustained excellence. Yes. Um, how do you think the next two days can play a role? in sustained excellence. We're going to learn from companies again and individuals and leaders from all different walks of life. Sustaining excellence is about what our theme is, always learning. But learning is great, but it isn't powerful unless it's applied. So always leading in ways that constructively disrupt our business and build something better than we had before. Uh, you've, we, we've been talking constructive disruption for years. Yeah. And, and Signal is one of the best, to me, opportunities for a wide range of people to listen and challenge the way they think about so many things, but do it in a constructive way so they can be part of building something better. And for P&G to be the kind of company we all aspire to, delivering a quarter a year is nice. Delivering for several years is nice. But we want to sustain excellence, and we want to make an impact not just for our shareholders, but to the broader stakeholder community in which we serve. Ah, oh, hear that. So do you have a final message to everyone watching today? <laughs> Yes, yes, absolutely, and it's for everybody. And it's the same message I give every year, which is we have an opportunity. What an amazing gift to listen and learn from so many outstanding people. Take advantage of it. You know, I sit virtually now and take notes for every one of these sessions. I, I look forward to the day it's in person, but what the virtual world offers us, a chance to access even more leaders that we wouldn't be able to get. Learn from them, and then take that, capture your thoughts, discuss it, and then apply it. Make P&G a better company. Well, David Taylor, CEO of P&G, thank you so much for helping us kick this off. Now let's get started. Outstanding. I look forward to a great two days. As do I.